So this video looks at the methods and the ethics in research. Uh, in this class, I'm going to be asking you to conduct a research project, and uh, this video just outlines some of the things that you need to think about as you uh, collect your research and your psychological research. It's important in psychology that research is conducted properly and that it's conducted appropriately. And I'll be taking a look at those two things, how to conduct a proper research study and also how to conduct an appropriate research study. So first of all, uh, when we think about uh, conducting a proper research study, there are two words that come up in psychology. Those two words are reliability and validity. And I'll like attempt to explain the difference between the two. A reliable experiment or a reliable research topic is one where the same results are achieved each time the research is applied or each time the research is conducted. That is considered to be a reliable research experiment. Reliability can be affected negatively or it can, you can have a, a research project that isn't reliable if you have improper research methods. For instance, uh, if you are giving a research uh, survey uh, to people who are not able to read the language, uh, the results of your research would not be, uh, would not be reliable because the, the, uh, the, the people were not able to read uh, the survey that was given. So that would have an effect on the reliability. The second thing that you need to do when you're conducting a research study is to concentrate on the validity of the research experiment or the research study. The validity means that you are studying what you intended to study. So one way that I, I uh, understand the difference between reliability and validity is to think about an archery target. And if our research project sort of is this large archery target and that's what we're, going, that's what we're trying to achieve, and if we take our bow and if we shoot an arrow at the target and we hit a particular spot on the target, uh, that's, the, that's, that's our initial spot on the target. If we took a second arrow and we shot it again and we hit exactly the same point on the target, we could say that our shooting is reliable. Similarly, in a research project in psychology, if I always hit the same spot, if I always get consistent results, I would have a reliable research project. And that's something that we're looking for. Are we hitting that same spot over and over? That would be a reliability test. The second thing, though, is where is our target on, on the archery target, or where is our arrow going? Validity means that the arrow would be hitting the center of the target. And so if we have reliability that the arrow's hitting the same spot each time, that would be reliability. And we would have validity that it's actually going to the center of the target, it's hitting where we wanted it to go. We would have both a reliable and a valid research project. So those are two words that come up in uh, psychology research and there are things that I might uh, say to you as you're working with your research project. I might say, you know, the way that you've asked this question could have an effect, a negative effect on the reliability and the way that people would answer this question over and over again if this question was given. Or I may say to you, I think that the validity of your research project is either good or the validity of the project may be in question. And so those are two words that you might uh, hear me say when I'm commenting on your research project. So those are some, some issues related to how to do psychology uh, research that is proper. There are, also, there are also some issues that have to do with doing appropriate psychological research. And the first issue is that of confidentiality. Uh, in your psychological research and in your survey that you're going to be giving, uh, you may be asking people for some personal questions or asking them for some personal information about their lives. It's important that the information that you collect is kept confidential. One way that you can do that is uh, uh, is to not have the people put their names on their surveys. Um, or, in addition to that, if you get the survey back, you may uh, make sure that the information that you collect in the survey isn't distributed outside of uh, this research project. And so confidentiality uh, is important in, in any research project, that you keep the information as, confidenti as confidential as possible. The second thing is uh, something called informed consent. 
Informed consent just means that the person that you're studying is aware that they're being studied and agrees and consents to participating in the research study. So in a survey that you're doing, uh, you will probably say something at the top of the survey that would say, um, this is a psychology 20 uh, psycholo psychology experiment or study. Um, your participation is voluntary. Please do not put your name on, uh, on, on top of the survey. If you choose not to participate in the survey, then please return the survey to me. That, that type of, a, of response builds the informed consent that, that the person doing the survey is completely aware of, uh, of their involvement in the survey. So the first thing is confidentiality of the information. The second thing is informed consent so that they know that they're participating. And the third thing is called debriefing. And debriefing happens at the end of the psychological study. And debriefing means that you have related the results of the study to the people that have participated in the study whenever possible. So one way that we might do that is to put our projects on display for people to see. Uh, or another way is to send an email to people to say that I finished my research project, it's on uh, display or you can view it, here are the results of it. That would be all part of the debriefing in a psychological experiment. The fourth and final thing is when you're doing a, uh, a study is to uh, be aware of the bias that you have in conducting your psychological study. There is a tendency for us to want to get the results in our research study that we believe should be the results. And our bias is caused by a number of things, including our gender, uh, including things that are around us in our culture. There are all sorts of things that can cause us to be biased in an experiment. And so as a researcher, we want to minimize the amount of bias uh, that we have in our, our psychology studies. Uh, by limiting the amount of bias, we create a, a greater uh, reliability and a greater, greater validity in our research study. So those are just some issues that come up and some ethical issues that come up as you're doing your research. I'm really looking forward to uh, the results that uh, you receive as you are conducting your research assignment. And if you have any questions about the information, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.